How much has she had to drink tonight? Oh, five, six. Did you breathalyze her? Not yet, no. All right, breathalyze her, and I'll tell you how I <laughs> what? What'd you go to jail for before? DUI. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going to jail again. I hate you, but I'm never going to be with it. You have had too much to drink tonight? Mm -hmm. No, how much have you had? Just one drink. Oh, I'm totally fine. Okay. No, I swear. Oh, no, Carrie. Please, I'm just totally fine. Right. Oh, um, God. Here comes no, Carrie. No, Carrie's not going to be able to. Um, Why? Oh, she doesn't know what happened to Carrie yet. I have You're, a cigarette. I cannot allow that, no. Why? Because oh God. you can't smoke in my car. I won't. Is the number's going to be 73. Oh, look, <laughs> look at Carrie. <laughs> Carrie's like... <laughs> I can't believe I came here for this. You know, she was driving around, you know, she was drunk and she was coming back from trivia, you know, had a couple of drinks. And so she gets pulled over by the cops and the cops are like, you know, these, I think these probably smell alcohol in her breath. Usually you can kind of smell it. It's pretty strong. And so like, they're like in the process of arresting her and she decides to call a friend to help her out. And I guess like sometimes when you call a friend, like, I guess you're just calling to come like help you. Like, I don't know, maybe like pick up your car or something like that. But that friend that shows up, they showed up drunk at the scene. And the cops were like, you know, man, smell a little bit of alcohol. I just want to make sure you're okay to drive. And so they get her to do a breathalyzer and we're going to watch it together. So that's going to be um, interesting. <laughs> this is the screenshot that I had for the <laughs> for the first body cam footage. I think this is the what, the first person who was arrested, but... Um, how you doing? Hey, hey I'm you? Trooper Bros. The State Police. Do you have a license, registration, insurance with you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm three houses away. I'm trying. I'll call you right back. Hold on. The reason why I'm stopping you. Oh, she's on the phone with someone. I wonder if that's the friend that she's going to call that shows up later on. That's also drunk, but we'll see. Sorry. Right. My boyfriend called the police. Mm-hmm. That's why I just find yeah, out what's going on. Because I, I loved him. I don't want to be with him. Okay. I'm done. He's right. Up. Well, we, we got we got a we got a 911 call possibly wanna, stating they yeah. stole eight hundred dollars. Of course. Did you stay? Did you steal eight hundred dollars? No. Oh no. my God. It's <laughs> wait. So, uh, I guess in the beginning I kind of missed it, but I guess her boyfriend called the cops on her. She's leaving, and I guess the boyfriend said that she stole maybe like was it a hundred or eight hundred dollars? I couldn't really hear. It's my money. Okay. I my dad gave me a thousand dollars. Okay. It's my money. How much you had a drink tonight? Like three glasses of wine. Three glasses of wine. Okay. Do you yeah. have a driver's license with you? Oh, yeah. she's honest. <laughs> you know, I wonder what the law is in Michigan. Michigan, like, are they a zero alcoholic? Sorry, was it got zero tolerance? Uh, Michigan DUI law. I think most states it's like 0.08. Michigan has a zero tolerance rule for drivers under the age of 21. Okay, so if you're under 21, absolutely no alcohol, duh, because you're supposed to be 21 in order for you to drink alcohol. But for drivers over 21, okay, it's going to be 0.08. So that's like similar to like other states as well in America. Damn, she said she had three glasses of wine though. But I wonder if she didn't give a time frame though. So maybe she's like, oh, I had three glasses of wine within the time span, five hours, you know? That should be okay. Yeah, of course. Okay. Oh my God, he needs to be. He's f***ed up. I don't want to go to jail. Nobody uh, says you're going to jail. I don't want to go to jail. I've been there once and I don't want to. Okay. Well, why don't you sit tight? Okay. Well, why don't you sit tight? Listen, why, why don't you? three houses off. Okay. okay, why don't you sit I'm just staying in the pocket. Right. I've been doing Nicole, okay, why don't you sit tight for a second, okay? We'll get this sorted out, okay? Oh, right. man, she's already crying. The waterworks are already out. I don't even know if she even realizes that, hey, I might get in trouble for drinking. I think her mind is just set on, like, you know, probably the argument that she had with her boyfriend boyfriend accusing her of stealing money so like i don't even know if like in her mind she's even registering that like hey like i just told my drink three like glasses of wine um i might get in trouble for that i might have to go to jail for that but i think she's thinking about like other issues that's going on huh yeah she's intoxicated he's intoxicated hey i'm gonna call the complaint back real quick and see what he has to say real quick and i'll call i'll test her in a second you want me to just talk to her yeah sure <laughs> oh she's already crying oh she's got a little doggo with her oh not the doggo oh man um i wonder if it's gonna be the boyfriend that's gonna bail her out of jail i want to get slosh and then not go to jail i love living in a place that has an abundance of ubers yeah she's in michigan thought every state was 0.08 if you're over 21 i think there are some states um that it's like absolutely zero tolerance that's what i thought um where it's like even if you're over 21 you can't have any alcohol in your system i don't was that dc or something was it virginia um because i remember hearing that 
After speaking with the complainant on the phone, it was learned that Nicole had been at a trivia event and was drinking heavily. Oh, so, no. who's Nicole to you? She's your girlfriend? Okay. Yes. I have her on the traffic stop here, okay? Oh, no, the boyfriend be snitching. You in your friend's house? My boyfriend wants me to go to jail. Well, actually, it's not. I wouldn't really consider it snitching, though. Um, yeah, I wouldn't consider it snitching. Why does your boyfriend want to go to jail? Because I left them. You left them tonight? Yes. That so you said true. that she's. Has she been drinking tonight? They're totally intoxicated. Okay, how do you know she's intoxicated? I'm done. I'm done. I've gone through this. <laughs> I actually did not know that police officers can speak directly to the person who called in 911 initially. Um, I actually didn't know that, but I guess it makes sense too. She's just like, instead of having the 911 operator be like the middleman, just talk to the boyfriend directly. But the boyfriend's like, yeah, she drank a lot. She was out in trivia. Like, oh man, boyfriend's making sure she goes down. Hi, Maxell. Trivia night question. How many drinks does it take to get arrested? Not a trivia event. <laughs> My friend lives three houses up. Just let me go. Okay. There was a trivial game that she went to. Have a glass of wine, whatever. And I went up there, and I did have a half a glass of wine, and she went berserk. When did you leave his house? Wait, why? Just now. Okay. Done. Yeah. Done. Yeah, done. He's a jerk. Oh, done. Done. Okay. He's put me through so much. Okay. Okay. Was he drinking tonight? Of course. Okay. Were you drinking tonight too? Of course. Okay. And I told. Her She's honest, though. I got to give it to that. Like, she's honest. But I don't know if she's registering that she might get in trouble for DUI. Um, also, I wonder what's going to happen to the doggo. Because um, they're obviously going to probably call someone to, like, tow the car, get it impounded. Um, is the boyfriend going to come and pick up the doggo? <laughs> Where does doggo go? Drinking. How much has she had to drink tonight? Oh, five, six. Did you breathalyze her? Not yet, no. All right, breathalyzer, and I'll tell you how much. <laughs> like, give her a breathalyzer, and I'll tell you. Just, oh, they break it up after this. They definitely am not going back together after this. Oh, my God. When I go to my friend. What caused you to your argument there with him? Because I couldn't deal with him. So he caught the guy. Oh, okay. And I told her, I warned her. I said, you cannot drink and drive. Okay. And she took off. Okay. My own father said that. Okay. okay. That's my girlfriend. That was up the road. Okay, what's her name? Carrie. Carrie? Yeah. Carrie. Oh, okay. no. She lives three houses up. Okay. I just want to go to her house. I don't want to be with my boyfriend. Well, let me talk with her and... Hi, Tam. How are you doing today? Oh, no. Okay. I'll, call, I'll get back with you here shortly, okay? Her officer. She's drunk. She's I, way over point zero. Okay, we get it. I, I, I understand that. Okay. Like I guess I wanted to talk with you about this first, okay? I don't want really to get his girlfriend arrested. What did you go to jail for before? DUI. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I guess some people just don't learn. Listen, listen. My mom's boyfriend has... I think he went to jail for DUI and this guy still fucking DUIs. Like <laughs> there's just some people out there that just don't fucking learn. Like, I don't know. Fuck these people. Fuck these people. Yeah. Um, I guess, uh, over a year ago. I think she needs help. I mean, okay. that's the only way this is not going to happen again or hurt somebody. Okay. A couple or like uh, five, seven, ten. Like two years ago. Two years ago. I'm two years that. ago. Oh my God. Lady, you look like you're like in your 40s or something like that. And you still haven't learned your lesson? Oh my gosh. The dog be like, I don't know this lady. She abducted me. <laughs> Get me out of here, please. Nicole contacted her friend to come help her, who was oh, just Nicole. down the road. Hey, are you okay? No, I'm, I'm, I'm on your road, but no. What are you doing? The cat's broke over there. Wait, Could is he lights down there? Yeah. Yes, yes, please come up. Serious? Yeah. I'm not going to get in trouble? I don't know. Well, no. she can't be here now. You're not going to be in trouble. No. Do you need me there? Yeah. Yes, come, please. Okay. What a dedicated friend. The dedicated friend was like, oh, I see the lights over there. Can I go over there? Am I going to get in trouble? But then the friend's probably like, ah, oh, no, I don't want to go there. Do I need to go there? And the friend's like, yes, please. Like, I need you to be here. Yeah, we should go outside. So she sees the lights. That means her house is like hey, literally up there. Up for me, okay? I just want to go to my friends, which is up the road, please. Okay. Oh, just, Nicole. Just let me go. Alrighty. Well, we'll, we'll take a step back over here. All right. All right. And then how much have you had to drink tonight? I had like three glasses three of wine. Three glasses of wine? At the club. Okay. Yep. 
Yep, All right. yep, yep. All right, well, okay, well. I think she was consistent. I think she said three glasses of wine earlier. The doggo is the friend. Plot twist. Hi, Vaughn. How are you doing today? Doggo's going to get arrested, too. Can you see my finger okay? Yeah. Let's see how All she right, does. I want you to follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Try not to move your head, okay? Okay. Oh, she's moving her head? Just keep uh, following oh, my finger. Oh, no. The eyes. Oh, no. Nicole. Cool, you drunk. Keep following my finger. I know. It's, I, I, know it. I know, but you keep. You keep. Take, okay. Just don't take your eyes off All my right. finger, okay? Okay. Okay. That's what I have you do. It's called the walk and turn test. Okay, are you able to do that? Do they still give that um, DUI test where they make you do the um, the ABCs but backwards? Because I honestly can't. I can't do the ABCs backwards. So I don't. I don't know that. I feel like that sounds like an auto fail to me. Mm -hmm. A few minutes later, Nicole's friend arrived, and the assisting trooper approached her. Hello. Can I help you? All right, so I'll have you ha I have, have your arms at your sides. Carrie, okay. Okay, I'll have you arms at All your right, sides. Carrie. Okay. Carrie's here. Okay. Can we help you? Yeah. How can we help you? Checking on her because she said she was in trouble. Okay. All right. And I was just trying to okay. help her. All right. If you want to stay in your car. Um, I was just being a friend. Yeah, I don't say if anything happens tonight, she has a dog with her. It would yeah. probably be nice for her to take the dog. Okay. Oh, but Carrie, oh, Carrie's not going to make it either. When I tell you to begin, I want you to take nine heel-to-toe steps, touching heel-to-toe on each step. All right. Okay? If you want to stay in, just in your car, keep your lights on for me, just so cars can see you. If anything does happen, we'll come get you in. So I'll demonstrate a few steps for you, okay? Right. No, well, you don't have to. I get it. You, do you understand to touch yeah. the heel to toe nine? nine? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, sir, I've done this many times before. I've been pulled over for a DUI before, so I know what your tests are talking about. I got this. <laughs> okay, well, let me explain it to you for, first anyways, okay? Three, all the way to nine, okay? Yeah. Planted, turn to your left, and take nine more heel to, toe, heel to toe steps backwards, okay? So nine down and nine back, okay? Go ahead and begin when you're ready. And count each step out loud. Two, three, four, uh. six. Seven, nine. Okay, and what did I explain to you next? Okay. Turn, turn, and take nine more back. Three. Oh, uh, a little wobbly. Four. I was gonna say, cause she'd be like, "Well, this terrain is a little bit rough right now because of the snow, so I can't really walk properly." Eight, <laughs> nine, one thousand one, one thousand. Yeah, this one is the hard one. The balance. One thousand seven. Oof. One thousand eight. 2009, 2014. All right, we're, we're gonna stop. You just said I want you to slip and fall, okay? Why don't you wait right here with my partners? I'll be right back with you, okay? All right. Do you yeah, know the legal in Michigan? A six? I don't know. Okay, it's a point zero eight, okay? okay? And on a scale of one to ten, with one. So that's like doubly the point oh eight. Being stone cold sober and ten being the most fought on drunk, how do you feel? I feel fine. You feel fine? Well, okay. not fine, but like probably five. About a five? Okay. Well, you're more than twice the legal limit, okay? You had a point one seven, okay? And, you know, she might actually feel fine because maybe she does drink a lot of alcohol, maybe like normally. We don't know that, right? But um, like there are times when people that like will have like high over blood alcohol limit. They're like, yeah, I'm fine, you know, but they're so fucking drunk. So what now? I go to jail. So you Hi, Chris. Going to jail for operating right. while intoxicated. Can she take my dog? Yep, we'll talk about that in just a second, okay? Oh, no. All right, so right now we're going to turn around, put your hands around your back for me, okay? I'm just going to turn your wrist so it's a little more comfortable on you, okay? Why wouldn't they just hand her the breathalyzer be done with it? These field sobriety tests are ridiculous. Um, I think like sometimes people, if you're just like, hey, I'm gonna do a breathalyzer, they probably just like shut down and they don't wanna like um, do anything. And then at that point, that's when the police officer has to like threaten to like revoke their license and then bring it to the police station and then get the court order or do like the blood testing. So I think this is just like kind of like, instead of just going like straight for like the breathalyzer, it's just like, okay, let's start with something small. Let's see if you can do this test right here. Oh, okay, like it should be easy. Okay, then let's do this test right here. Then let's do that test right there. And then when you realize that they're fucking up in all the three tests, then boom, you hit them with the breathalyzer. Um, yeah, so I, I think it's just like a way to just get people to like just agree to do something initially to assess whether or not they're actually drunk or not. You said you're 14 okay, years That's what I think. I don't know if that's explanation. That's what I think. <laughs> Also, um, I should be sad about leaving the dog. You should have been in the car. She could have killed herself in the pub. <laughs> what, what's your friend's name? <laughs> Carrie. Carrie? Oh. Okay, because Carrie will take him. You okay with that? What? You okay with Carrie taking him for tonight? Do you want your vehicle at Carrie's house as well? Yeah. Okay. See so if you can have somebody come pick it on up. Okay. Okay, so they're being nice. They're letting... Actually, because I thought that, like, um, even though Carrie's house is right there, I thought the cops would still have to impound it no matter what. Um, but I guess like, you know, since the house is right there, the cops are just willing to just drive the car to Carrie's house for them. Or maybe they're going to get Carrie to drive the car since it's right there. But then literally they know <laughs> something's up with Carrie as well.
I can't so, believe he called the cops. Okay. All right, we're going to take a seat. saw this twice. Why should I okay. be with this? We're going we're gonna to take a seat in my car, okay? Or can I talk to Gary for just, a Just a moment. Let me just, take... Can I talk to Gary for a moment? Listen, Please. don't push on me. We're gonna no, go right I'm here. not. Okay. I will never. We'll, we'll talk. We'll, can you talk to Gary? Yes, I'll bring it over here, and you can talk with him in just a moment. Take a seat in the car. No. Okay. Stay warm, okay? No. It's cold outside. I would like a cigarette. Due diligence for the court. Oh my god, is she demanding for a cigarette? No, that is a Sarah Boone move right there. Nicole. Can you put this in the front? I cannot. Okay. Oh god. I would like a cigarette. What? Can I have a cigarette? Uh, can't let you smoke in my car. Can I have one outside? I cannot at this point. Okay. Oh. Ma'am, you're being handcuffed. I... <laughs> I don't know. You're being handcuffed right now. I mean, they're not going to unhandcuff you and let you have your cigarette, or they're not going to, you know, hold the cigarette for you. Oh, man, that's that's a little bit of a Sarah Boone right there, but... God, you're not like dog, are you? No, I'm okay. not. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going to jail again. I hate him, and I'm never going to be with him again. Ah, it's not the boyfriend's fault. Like, yes, he narked on you. Yes, he called the cops on you. And yes, he was telling the cops that you were drinking a fuck ton. But you decided to drive. You decide to take your car, your vehicle, your dog. Like, I don't know. We, we, I'm sure there's still Ubers operating, unfortunately. Because, like, I don't know. I think Ubers will be operating, even though it's, like, heavy snow out there. Ah, oh, man. I'm done. Upon speaking with her 44-year-old friend named Carrie. I like how they specify 44-year-old friend. It's like, okay, 40-year-old friend, no, old enough to know better. The trooper could smell an odor of intoxicants coming from the vehicle oh, and no. observed that she had glassy eyes. Oh, no. So she didn't go tonight to jail. Um... You said you'd be willing to take that dog then? The dog of hers? Yeah. Okay. What's that? I said if needed, yes. Yeah, um, either you take him or he goes to the pound, so one of those. <gasps> no, it's so sad. Or he goes to the pound. Oh, can't they just keep the dog at the police station? Like three doors down. Okay. She messed, I mean, I was with her earlier tonight. Okay. When I came home. Yeah. Okay, this is what I was wondering. I was wondering if Carrie and Nicole were hanging out earlier because I don't know. Maybe, maybe Nicole didn't know that Carrie was drinking also. Or maybe they were in a trivia together and they both were getting fucking wasted. So I don't know why Nicole would want to call Carrie and I don't know why Carrie would agree to come. Ah, yeah, yeah. Carrie was just trying to help out a friend, but then she just forgot that she was also drunk too, I guess. Ugh. She's like, oh, I'm... Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, dude. The police was like, wait, you were hanging out with her? And then as soon as she made that statement, he flashed the flashlight right at her. Oh, man. Carrie, Carrie, why you do this to yourself, Carrie? I know you're just trying to help a friend, but like, you could have just walked over. Why <laughs> Why you do this to yourself? Oh, my God. Okay, I gotcha. So I'm like, well, let me check out what I can do. Okay. You've had too much to drink tonight? Mm -hmm. No, how much have you had? Just one drink. Oh, no. Okay, so she's... Carrie might be a liar here. Hi, Queen. How are you doing today? The pound will put the dog in custody until she's free to make some of the arrangements. I don't know, man. I don't know if I trust them. I mean, what if they fuck up and, like, things happen? The dog gets adopted and gets put to sleep. I don't know. I just... I, my, my, my mind just goes into bad places, I guess. Oh, dude. I... Carrie, Carrie, why? Why, Carrie? Okay, sorry. Just the one? Yeah. Okay, okay. all right. Uh, we gotta make sure you're gonna be safe to drive. I can smell the alcohol coming from you. And how long ago was that one? Oh, it was just like two hours. Ago. I'm good. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. All right. So if I can give you a PVT real quick, you'll be low, low enough. You said you blow long. You just only had one drink tonight, though, right? That's it. I just wanna make sure you're safe to drive. Oh, I'm just two doors down. Okay. No, I'm totally fine. Okay. I was just checking on. Yeah, no, I understand Maybe. why you're here. Yeah, I, I just want to make sure you're safe driving because I smell alcohol coming from you. I just want to get you out of here and you be drunk driving. No. Harry's like, fuck. I like, I inadvertently like self snitch myself. Why did I come up here? Like, yes, you're only two doors down or whatever, but ma'am, you shouldn't be operating a damn vehicle still. I, I just. I just don't know why you just don't get it. Oh, I'm totally fine. Okay. No, I swear. Oh, okay. no, Carrie. Please, I'm just <laughs> totally fine. Okay. Um, Let's see what please. Carrie blows. I'll, I'll take the dog. I'll just... I'll say, yeah, we'll get you to take the dog here. Please. Um, I'm going to make sure you're safe to drive. So... No, I'm totally fine. I mean, I'll walk back. Okay. I'm just going to right now. Just real quick, we're going to have you take a peep real quick just so we can make sure where you're at. And then we can get all this ball moving, okay? Oh, uh, I see Carrie chewing gum. I wonder if she put on, like, a little spearmint gum to, like, hide her the odor or something like that. 
Make sense? I swear I'm fine. 34 from 16. Carrie. No, I swear I'm fine. Please, Carrie, I, why? Just slow down to see what she was doing. I'm I'm totally fine, No, I swear. No, I got you. I just want to make sure you're safe to drive. I understand. <laughs> Please. Can you grab me the PVT real quick? I shouldn't have even checked on her. No, you're fine. You're just being a good friend. I just want to make sure you're safe to drive. You just had that one. I know, but still. I'll start to be so nice. Seriously, I can't do this. I can't. If I am over it, like, I'm not, but I'm, I'm scared that I Oh, but if I'm over it, but I'm not, but if I'm over it, I'm scared gonna happen carrie ah oh, i wonder if carrie has a record of dui though um all right so this is a lesson learned for you guys you know no matter how tight your friendship is your familial bonds don't go out <laughs> driving <laughs> to a dui arrest if you yourself is also drunk okay don't be doing that all right <laughs> fuck the loyalty damn well you just had one drink tonight what i know you have? this is you just a lesson like learned for y'all like a wine a wine mixer? like a glass of wine then it was just, it was a glass, maybe it was two at the most, but that was it. Okay, just the two, it was two hours ago? Okay. Carrie also agreed to a PBT. Ah, uh, so she upgraded from one to two. So first she said she had only one glass of wine. Now she's saying she had two glasses of wine. That $1,000 that Nicole got from her dad, she better put some towards Carrie too. <laughs> she would have helped Carrie out. Oh no, she's also, well, she's not double. Okay, so she's like 0.127. Yep, she's over. Mm. She's pulling a Caitlin Armstrong. Oh, dude, I heard about that. If I'm found guilty, can you let me out with supervision? Girl, no. You try to escape twice already. No. Deep oh, Carrie. And blow hard. And blow hard. And blah, 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 blah. You want to try it again? Do you have any gum in your mouth? I do. Oh, can you want to take that out real quick? Yeah, she I'm had gum in her mouth. Look. I think she wanted to conceal her breath. Quick. Just want to test your eyes real quick, okay? Okay. No, you're fine. I just want to make sure you're safe to drive. I, I mean, I am. Um... Okay, that's fine. I understand. I, can't, I, I totally can't. trust you. I just want to make sure you are. I can't do this. Well, I guess for her, instead of having her do the field test, they just went straight to the breathalyzer. <laughs> Maybe they like assessed her and was like, you know, she looks like the type of person who would be okay with just accepting doing a breathalyzer on the spot instead of doing the whole thing. Oh, man. Carrie's also going to get arrested. Hey, at least the two friends will be in the drunk tank together and, you know, they'll be sitting in prison together. Um... It'll be experience, a bonding experience, a lesson learn experience. It's like, what if I, like, I'm scared. I know I am totally fine. I know I am. Okay. No, I understand. No, I'm just scared. I know what you're doing. Hi, now, lady. But... I want to get this, all this settled too. I mean, I guess they don't do the alphabet one anymore. Um, actually, do they do the alphabet one for Stephanie Mendoza? Um, God, there's this one person that we, um, we watched the body cam footage of her. That was such a bad one. Um, she was driving drunk, driving really fast. She hit two pedestrians. She killed both of them. And she was like kind of like laughing at the scene. And then she was laughing after the arrest and talking about drinking more and going to Vegas. Um, sorry, what was I? What was I, What was the point that I was trying to make? Oh, the point I was trying to make. Did they do the ABC thing for Stephanie Malgoza too? Because um, that one is um, that one I would for sure would fail. Oh, no, she's moving her head. Up. All you gonna do is imagine there's an imaginary line straight right in front of you. So when I tell you to start, all you're gonna do is take nine heel toes forward. One, all the way to nine. You wanna go ahead and do that for me? I'm gonna make you feel comfortable, okay? Different areas to different tasks. Please. Okay, yes. Please. Oh no, we're back to Nicole right now. I wonder if Nicole realizes what's going on in the rear view mirror. Like if she realizes, like, oh shit. Carrie also is doing the field sobriety test as well. Carrie fit to be in trouble now. Oh, I don't know if Nicole really... I think she's just too busy crying right now. Uh, Nicole, look in the rearview mirror. Please, please, please. Do you want him to come get the vehicle? Yeah, they want him to come get my dog. Okay. Next, let's call it a one-leg stand. You're going to pick her up approximately six inches off the ground. Oh, Your no. foot flat. Count aloud 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Whenever you feel comfortable, you may start, okay? Oh, no. Oops, can I get Can I get into your phone? Yep, okay. of course. I'll give you that. Do you want to call him? Yeah. All right, we're going to talk about the vehicle and the dog, yep, and that's it. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, is she calling the boyfriend now to get the car and the vehicle? Oh, man. I hope the boyfriend does come at least get the dog, you know? Get the dog. Put your differences aside. Come get the dog. Go. But what if the boyfriend also shows up and he's also drunk? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, that's, that, that's not, that's not what's going to happen here. That would be fucking crazy, though. You're beeping until you stop, okay? All right, deep breath. Hello. Here's I called the police on me. And you're going to blow? 
Blah 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 blah. I'm going to jail. Do you know the legal number? Nordo five one eight five. You're very clear. The legal yeah point. Oh man, am I going to be in trouble, Nicole? No, you're not. Narrator, that's the moment the friendship ended. I actually do wonder if they're still friends or not uh, till this day. But you know, this is a good way for them to learn their lesson together as a friends, and you know, don't fuck up again. Wait, so you're, you're right now. You're point one two seven. So you're gonna be over, over the legal. Point okay? Walmart. So this time you place under arrest or they okay? Please. You're turn around. Oh, with no. <laughs> Hands together like brain. I was fine, but he was mad at me, so he called the police on me. So where's the dog now? She's in my car, and I'm in the police car. Oh, okay, so he's not. she's not talking to the boyfriend. I think she's probably calling someone else. Okay, that's good. I mean, hopefully they'll come and get the dog. But um, it's just kind of interesting to see their reaction to being arrested. It's like they're not really accepting blame, responsibility. So what Nicole is doing is Nicole is saying, he called the cops on me. He did this. He did that. It's not like, oh, you know, I'm fucking arrested because I was drunk driving. And then same thing for the other one. I mean, both of them were, you know, basically pleading to the police like, oh, please, please, like, don't do this. Please don't do this. Like, ah. <sighs> guys like i don't know maybe maybe it's worked before to other people whenever they've been in a bad situation you know and they want to get out of trouble they probably beg their way out of it and maybe it worked you know and this is their tactic but mm, nope they're dragging you both to jail you want my partner here to grab that wallet and your phone for you okay where's that at in the car i haven't done anything at all i mean i'm just down there it's like two hours i shouldn't have ever tried to call her out i understand you have good intentions we're gonna go straight to that car okay well i'll, I'll go there i'll, I'll help you I am <laughs> oh um, god here comes no, carrie he's not gonna be able to um why oh she doesn't know what happened to carrie yet oh <laughs> you see the little arrow thing oh no they're about to tell her um nicole you called your friend carrie to come help you out and carrie she showed up drunk i mean y'all were drinking at fucking trivia y'all were drinking a lot and carrie showed up drunk and now she's gonna go to prison with you I may have to work tomorrow. Okay, you'll be able to get um, bond for this about 150 bucks. They'll explain it all to the jail for you. Officer. Oh, just a second. I'll find that out. It's a, like three drivers out. Do you have any priors? It's like over 10 years ago. Okay, a while ago. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and straight to my passenger seat there for me. I think we might need toes. Minor. Really? Um, I need what? It's calls toes. Really? I guess she's drunk too. Come on. One two seven. Two seven? One two seven. Jesus, she's just older. So we're gonna get two toes and ACO. Are you taking yours for a blood draw? Breath. For breath? Okay. Are you doing blood? No. The cop's reaction. Jesus Christ. Oh no. So both of their cars are getting towed. Don't know what's gonna happen to the dog yet. I do breath. You won't put these bolts under your complaint? No, because you carried the arrest on that one. Pull a second one for that one. Same, we just add it to yours and just... That's a separate incident, though, technically. Same incident. The same incident, but separate. You had a separate yeah. arrest with it. Think so? Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. Um, yeah. They're like, oh, God, okay, who wants to do the paperwork on this one? You do the paperwork. Okay, it's a separate incident. No, it's the same incident. No, it's a separate incident. You do the paperwork. <laughs> They're like, who wants to do the paperwork for this? <laughs> was there anyone else in the car? No, no, no one was in Carrie's car. Who's taking credit, lol? Able to stay with the car. I can stay with them. <laughs> Did somebody put my car in the garage? We're gonna get a tow for your vehicle since we can't have anyone can move it. We can't just move it two houses down? No. Nope. We cannot. Nope. We can't because then we get liable. What'd Carrie say? Boy, Tom, Sam, 8-9. Hold on one second, okay? <laughs> yeah, because that's my understanding. It's like they're not gonna drive your car and put it in the garage. Like they're just gonna get it towed. Like. I'm sorry, Carrie. And towing, getting your car towed sucked because when you pick it up, what is it, like $500 when you pick it up? Like, it's really expensive when you get your shit towed. Ooh, good luck. There's nothing we can do. I just have filmed them two houses down. Can you please let me in a second? Like, I don't know. And what I don't understand is, like, this is your community, you know? Would you really want police letting people who are drunk driving off the hook? Like, this is your community. Would you really want police to function that way? Probably not because, you know, you don't want to be on the receiving end of a car accident if someone crashes into you with you're drunk. So it's like, <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, you're the ones with the perpetrators in this situation. But, like, honestly, would you really want cops to be like, you know what, ma'am? You got double the, uh, you know, you're over the double the, the drinking limit. And uh, yeah, we're just going to let you go. Yeah, we'll let you go. We'll, we'll let you continue driving to your friend's house. You know, it's fine. We'll just let you guys go. Like, would you really want police to be like that? No. 
No. <laughs> Cigarette. That's all I ask before we go to jail. Article 7334. Oh my god. So I'm a peace officer <laughs> under arrest for the offense of operating a vehicle while talking. Could I just have You're, a cigarette? I cannot allow that, no. Why? Because oh god. you can't smoke in my car. I won't. Your refusal to take this test shows results in suspension of your operator's or chauffeur's license in the addition of six points to your driving record. After taking my chemical test, you Nicole? Take me Nicole? to jail. Go, 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 go. Nicole? What? Okay, so Ron's towing is going to have your vehicle. No, my... Okay. Your dog is going to be with the dad. Okay, wait, with, uh... Wait, why can't the dad take the vehicle? If I get locked up, they better give me my dog. I'm going to need emotional support. <laughs> At least she's going to have a friend in jail. That's what I will say. At least they'll be locked up together. She won't be alone, I guess. Um, I'm actually confused, though. So I guess, like, her dad or someone's dad is coming, but why isn't the dad allowed to take the car? Or maybe the dad doesn't have anyone to come with to bring the car back, and it's just him. I actually hit my horn. Can my friend Carrie take it to her house after she takes, please? No, she's Carrie's not, drunk. She, she's not able to. Why? Because. Is it a strip? She's that drink. Yes. Carrie's drunk. Oh, uh, whatever. Take it. Just, I want my dog. Honey, you're the angry. You do work up on my female for Carrie. And the number's going to be 73. Oh, look, <laughs> look at Carrie. <laughs> Carrie's like, I can't believe I came here for this. I don't know if Nicole is even a good friend of mine. I, I, maybe they are best friends. Nine one dash two three. Carrie's so blown. Y'all good? Her father in law's coming to pick up the dog. Okay. Yeah, my father in law. Okay, so he'll be here in a little bit. Oh, Chad, you are right. It is the boyfriend's dad. Oh, well, at least she has a good relationship with the boyfriend's dad. Carrie's contemplating. <laughs> She's contemplating this friendship. Like, Nicole looks completely fucked. I don't know. Maybe Carrie handles herself a little better when she's, like, under the influence. But Carrie, you know, she does look okay, but she made some bad decisions. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be en route to the jail. Beginning mileage is 40011. <laughs> also clear the scene. En route to the jail for oh, breath Nicole. test. Starting mileage 43742. Oh, I, I can't bring it anywhere because we're liable for any damages I can bring. Doesn't Carrie look like that actress, though? Um, there's an actress that has, like, brunette hair, very similar, like, bubbly face. Um, was she in The Office? Do you guys know what, know what actress I'm talking about? She's, like, usually in, like, com comedy TV shows or movies. Ah, uh, I'm pretty sure she was in The Office. You guys know what I'm talking about? I just don't know her name, and I don't even know what, like, she's one of those people that's, like, in, like, a lot of, like, shows or movies, but you just don't really know what to pinpoint which movie or show was. But I think she was in The Office, or maybe not. But I feel like she always plays, like, the HR-type lady, um, who's like, wait, wait. I, I understand the frustration with it, trust me, but people in the past have sued us over stuff like this, so we're not allowed to do that. <laughs> And see, the crazy thing is she keeps saying that I'm only two doors down. I'm only two doors down. Well, bitch, why didn't you just walk then? Why did you drive? Like, I know it's rain. I know it's snowing and stuff, but I mean, could have just walked. <laughs> Jenna Fisher. Um, let me see. Jenna Fisher. She was in Workaholics, I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Jillian Bell. Jillian Bell. Y'all know her? Doesn't that kind of look like her? Kinda? You know what? I thought she was a brunette. I know she was a blonde. I guess she is a blonde. Doesn't it kind of look like her? She kind of looks like Angela from The Office. It's the lips. I think it's like, like they both have like baby pouty faces, right? The cheeks. <laughs> Hi, Enemy. How are you doing today? Just like the band. She's three doors down. Get it? That's Carrie right there. No, this not her though. The other one. When you get into the jail, you'll be able to. Wait, what? When you get into the jail, they'll be able to. Oh, yeah, the captain of the jail, the big fat guy. He's a he's a I don't know him. I don't see him. He's a dick. Sorry about that. Can I just get out tonight? Right? It kind of looks like her. Jillian Bell, sort of. Maybe younger version of her. Kinda, kinda. Can I see it? Oh, man. I wonder if this is her first arrest. So you'll be out in the morning. I just. I I should have never done it. I should never come on to try to help her. I'm like, I'm like, I know you're doing your job, and I appreciate it. Well, I understand the frustration. Uh, I was married for over 26 Nicole? years. Uh, Nicole? And then I met this dude. Wait, she was what? <laughs> She's still blaming the boyfriend. <laughs> Nicole. Nicole, you got to take responsibility for your actions, okay? You can't be blaming the boyfriend for everything. Like, yeah, maybe he is a douche, you know? Maybe he is a shithead, but... 
can't be blaming your boyfriend for everything. Um, oh, she also from Community as well. I didn't know her name, but yeah, she does look like her. She came out in Jump Street 2. Most drinkers think they are invincible. True. Can't do anything sauce. This is why they drink and drive mostly. Yeah, it's inconvenient to leave the car behind, but much cheaper and easier than the alternative. Like, I don't know. Usually it's like um, nowadays people, when they like are planning on drinking, you just kind of like make a plan like, okay, like we're all going to like share an Uber together or we're going to have like blah, blah, blah as like DD, you know, like, I don't know. Like, do that. Like this is, this is way more expensive. This is way more expensive. Um, having to get your ass dragged to fucking jail, getting in your car towed, having to hire a lawyer and then showing up and then paying whatever fines and then community service or prison time. Like this is just a, this is a fucking hassle, dude. Or just don't drink. Okay. Drink is not even that great. It's not worth it. I mean, that great. Bag, Nicole. And I... Oh my god. Nicole. Really? Nicole. <laughs> Do you see? I don't have a record. Do Nicole. you see that? Nicole. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so Ron's towing is going to take your vehicle to no. be able to get it there. I can't leave it there. <laughs> Carrie can take my Carrie cannot take your vehicle. Why can't she? Because. It's just three houses away. I, that's besides no. the point. Okay, so Ron's towing. Whatever, to take it. Okay. I don't care. I can't imagine how Nicole would be hangry. <laughs> Nicole doesn't seem like a person who would be kind of pleasant, you know, when she's in, when she's hangry. <laughs> Nicole's like, I need my cigarette. Everything's my boyfriend's fault. Like I've been, I've had no record, you know, for whatever amount of years. And then I met him and now look at me now getting two DUIs, man. It's all his fault right there. She thinks she can drive fine and therefore won't get caught. That's why she's blaming the boyfriend so hard. I mean, yeah, she probably wouldn't have gotten caught if it wasn't for the boyfriend that called and, you know, called the police in her ass. Oh, man. I don't know. The boyfriend should watch out. I don't know. Maybe Karen and Nicole both are going to go after the boyfriend. They're going to blame the boyfriend for everything. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to take responsibility for this. I told you exactly what I saw, which is the stuff I could smell from you when I was talking with you. And then I, I do do this for a living. So. Yeah, people also underestimate how strong the smell of alcohol can be um because like not only does it come out of your mouth it like emanates from your pores like you can just like smell it especially if you've been drinking for like hours and stuff you know so maybe she thought by that time maybe she went home maybe she took a shower maybe she thought she would have been in the clear or something she was chewing that gum she's like you know what i got this i'm not gonna get in trouble but girl she just went out in the first place well, know. you know just stay home looking outside looking in i respect it though i do no, I understand. I, I understand. I'm not. I'm never gonna down you for being frustrating. You know. I didn't do anything. I drove like the houses down. I get for this now. It's not even that I did anything bad. I should have never come out. <laughs> okay, you didn't do anything bad. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even gonna leave the house. And here I'm like, oh yeah. Okay. Here's what I want to know: How did these two women get home from trivia? Because I wonder if they really want to look into it, if they can actually get like surveillance footage from the trivia place and see if these two women actually drove home from trivia. Because the reason why they're both so drunk is because they were drinking at trivia. So, I mean, if the cops really want to go back, you know, they could be like, oh, hey, like, so how did you guys get home from trivia? Did someone drive you or did you guys both drive separately? So it's possible they both could have have, you know, they both could have been driving drunk twice. Um from earlier but we don't know we don't know what their driving situation was did she call you yeah she called you about everything yeah she kept calling me i was on the phone with my boyfriend and i was like you know what that guy drives without a driver's license watch him he is he is a drug court so watch him she said her boyfriend oh no she's trying to she's trying to get the boyfriend in trouble now oh my goodness what did she say is the boyfriend a drug dealer he is, he is a drug court. So watch it. She said her boyfriend called her. I don't know why. He's an alcoholic. Nicole is charged with operating while intoxicated. Second offense, high BAC. Jesus. While Carrie was charged with operating while intoxicated. First offense. First offense. Nicole and Carrie's bonds were set at $200 and $150. In other words, it can be learned that Nicole essentially screwed over her friend. I mean, 
Nicole scooter over her friend, but she also did it at the same time. I, Carrie really screwed herself over. That's what I'm thinking. Like, yes, Nicole called her friend to come over and was like, oh, you're not going to get in trouble. But like, come on, Carrie, she royally really did just screw herself up. It was really Carrie. <laughs> what is two houses down in rural areas? That could be like 10 miles. Okay, so apparently Carrie, the friend, said that she like looked out and then she saw there was like lights or something. Like, I think she went out and saw that like there was like some lights. So I was thinking like, okay, Carrie, why didn't you just walk there? Why would you pull up your, like, I know it's snowing and stuff, but like, don't pull up your vehicle over there, especially if you're drunk. Just walk there. If you walk there and you show up drunk and you know, the cops can't arrest you for walking while drunk or something. But she decided to drive down there, even though she said she saw lights and stuff like that. Like you could have just drove. I mean, you could have just walked. Oh man.